So this is the new Harley Davidson Audio 50S unit with Rockford Fosgate Audio. This would have to be the first one in Australia. I know you guys have got it all through the US, but we're going to unbox it. We're going to check it out, share this product with you guys, and let's have a chat about it. All aboard! So this is it. This is the update. The Harley Davidson 50S unit with Rockford Fosgate Audio Tongue Twister. It's the next edition from the Harley Davidson 30K unit for you guys that have that. For the guys that have the CVOs, the uh, the unit actually comes with the motorcycle or the 30K unit has been coming with the motorcycle. I'm assuming with the 2022 model CVOs, you guys are gonna get the 50S, I'm guessing. Check with your Harley Davidson dealer. Uh, and they'll let you know. But I know up until the 21 Road Glide CVO that I just had, that came with a 30K unit. So I'm assuming the 22s will come with a 50S, that's a guess. But for right now, you can buy this separately and that's uh, what I've done. Well, actually it was a gift. This would have to be the first one, as I said, in Australia. Been very difficult to get down here. I think the backwater time on this is like, you know, no vows I record this. It's for November, December, 2022. As I speak to you, we're in April. So it's quite a long wait, unfortunately. This was a gift that came across from a cousin of mine in California who bought it for me as a gift and sent it over. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, Cuz, for sending that across. What does this go on? So let's just reflect backwards for a little bit. This is the helmet that I use that you guys have seen me using now. It's probably coming on 18 months, two years old. This is the Bell Bruiser helmet. Been very, very happy with this helmet. That's the Harley Davidson 30K unit because you got the unit with the CVO. Uh, why are they so good? Because they, they now connect with your, if you've got the CVO, it'll connect straight up with your bike without a problem. If you've got the special and you've got the ST, it will still connect with your head unit. So yes, it will, but you won't have the advantage of the full audio capacity that this, these units have, whether it's the 30K or the 50S. So what you need to install on the bike is the, fi the famous Harley Davidson Win, which is the wireless headset interface module, W-H-I-M, the Win. Uh, you'll notice if you were watching the series on the build for this ST, that was one of the components that I had ordered that has been installed on the motorcycle. Now, when you buy the Harley Davidson Wim, it's around about 300, 250 to 300 US, around about 500 bucks Australian. They install in the head unit of the motorcycle. Uh, best to be done at your Harley Davidson dealer. They plug it in, they update it, they update the Wim, all the latest software, and then it gets installed on the bike. And then what that does is unlock a bunch of features in there that allows you to hook it up as a rider headset, not just directly via Bluetooth. That's the difference. Without the whim, I believe it just hooks up via Bluetooth. And so therefore you get sound and you get the music coming through, but it is not the full quality that these things are able to produce. So naturally, if you're buying this guy that's got the Rockford Fosgate speakers in it, which is supposed to be really good audio, I'm just gonna try and zoom in on that so you guys can see the box. Uh, Rockford Fosgate speakers, you want to be able to tap into naturally that full Rockford Fosgate audio, hence the why the whims needed. Uh, let's unbox it, let's check it out and see what's in here. So when we take it out, don't need that. Foam piece, that's the, uh, that's the 50S unit. Let me just bring it into the camera so you can see it. Nice, sleek, black looking. They used to be silver back at the 20S, I think it was. It was 20S, then 30K, now 50S. They used to be silver, a lot sleeker in the black. Not too thick in design. They are made by Senna uh, for Harley Davidson. You don't even use the Senna system to update them. Harley Davidson, boom, have got their own downloadable uh, software which is center based, but it's, it's got the Harley Davidson componentry. Here's our Rockford Fosgate speakers. So yeah, there's the Rockford Fosgate speakers, branded and earpieces. Quite a thick speaker, so that's, you can see. So yeah, quite a, they're, they're a much higher quality speaker than what has been in the 30K. You can see that straight off the bat. They're a thicker unit. Uh, so this thing's gonna pump, I think. That's our, our microphone. It's gonna be installed on the side of the uh, helmet. Couple of options in relation to installing this. 
Now, you'll notice here standard, when you pull this mic out, you get a pack in here, and in this pack is all the parts that you need it's from your boot, your speaker mic covers, you've got your mounting parts, you've got all little adhesive sticky things for, there's so many different ways that you can actually install that all the instructions are in there on how to do that. I'm not gonna run over that in this video. However, I will tell you this, you've got two main ways of connecting this guy to your helmet. Depends on the helmet that you're using. And you'll notice on the Bell Bruiser, what I've done with this particular one, it's been installed by the adhesive way. There's the adhesive way or there's a clamp way. On here standard, that's the clamp. So what you're seeing there is the clamp. And that's designed to tuck up in under here, under this area of the helmet, and clamp on and then you screw it tight. If you can use the clamp, guys, use the clamp. It's a, it's a much stronger way to secure this unit to the helmet and it's not gonna be coming off uh, nice and safe and secure. The adhesive model, it's still strong. It's a very strong 3M tape that's used, very, very strong. But naturally, depending on the climates you're riding in over periods of time, I have had them slowly come loose to the point where when I was on the crossing state lines uh, tour series that I did up to Queensland, a couple of few thousand, 4,000 Ks, I think it was three or 4,000 Ks I did on that journey, it started to come a little bit loose, but a lot of sun, a lot of rain, a lot of different conditions I was in, I had to stop and get some super glue and I poured it all in there and definitely don't recommend doing that. I knew this helmet was on limited life, so I didn't mind doing that to it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna definitely try and use this clamp because it is a longer term solution. So let's get this installed on the new helmet and we're gonna hook it up. We're gonna have Rockford Fosgate in the ears. We're gonna have some beautiful sound. Now, what I'm gonna be able to do is give you a full proper update, because I've just done 1,000 kilometers with the audio unit, and I can now tell you a couple of things. Number one, the Bell Bruiser helmet, which is my love, I love the Bell Bruiser helmet, uh, I'm not going to be able to use. So I've swapped helmets, uh, mainly because of the Rockford Fosgate speakers, the quality, the thickness of them, they don't fit in. Bell didn't do a great job in that particular Bell Bruiser helmet to accommodate for the uh, external audio units. Now, I got away with it with the previous ones because they're thinner speakers, etc. Although I did have to, as I showed you, use the adhesive method to attach the 30K uh, onto the helmet which wasn't ideal. Uh, I preferred, I wanted to use the clamp method. So, this is Harley Davidson's Gargoyle helmet. Uh, I just bought this, not sponsored. I actually bought it, paid for it. So this is the Gargoyle helmet, pretty cool. Uh, again, like the Bell, detachable, solid plastic jaw piece. So better than the last Harley helmet I used to have, which was a bit rubbery. This one is actually a solid uh, jawbone piece there. Uh, and looks pretty cool when it's when it's on and, and closed up. Pretty amazing. Look a little bit like Darth Vader, I think. But anyway, that's the 50S unit fitted on this helmet. Clamp method. So the clamp method fits perfectly with this. You can see inside. If I come in a little bit closer to the camera, the speakers fit in there really nicely into the uh, into the Harley helmet. And I want to say this to you. The installation of these speaker units is, is as obvious as this seems, and I've had a lot of these, I've still got to keep reminding myself that the placement of the speakers is of utmost importance. Center have released a video on this, uh, but I want to short fuse this for you guys. So when you install it, wherever you're putting it on the inside of your helmet there, make sure, and I don't want to show you my big ugly ears, but make sure that the speaker is sitting somewhere in and around obviously this region okay so somewhere in and around this area you'd be surprised sometimes they're getting installed up high here a bit lower number one is speaker placement the speakers need to be centered directly over your ears maybe not necessarily where that manufacturer supplied those speaker cutouts take some time making small adjustments using the velcro and you'll notice a few millimeters can make a huge difference on the road Here's an example. Hello.
So I did even learn that. I mean, I've had like five, I had the, I had the, the, the 10 series, the 20S, the 30K, now the 50. So I'm not a beginner with this stuff and I still got it wrong. I had to play around with it. So just be aware of that. Make sure when it's in there, put your hands up inside the helmet. Just feel where that speaker is sitting. Is it right over your ear there? Because they're padded, they're comfortable, but you want that crystal sound to be coming through. This thing pumps is what I'm gonna tell you. It is unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. The, the bass, the clarity, the, the treble, amazing. I listen to a range of music. So this thing pushes each one of those songs from all these different genres out amazingly. Uh, Battery Life is amazing as well. That's the other thing I will say. Um, I actually forgot to charge it. I just went away to the Dubbo motorbike rally. So I was uh, 1,000 Ks, two days, 500 kilometers each day, 10 hours, 12 hours of riding, uh, no charge. And that was a couple of phone calls and pretty much listening to music and podcasts through it uh, both days. So yeah, amazing battery life. That's the wrap up on it. The Harley Audio 50S uh, Rock for Fosgate headset unit. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do that. There'll be some links down below as well um, that you can check out about the bike, about the headset, about whatever you want to read. There'll be stuff down there for you. You guys take care, uh, be safe on the roads and uh, see you on the next video very shortly. So